Imagine you enter the world of the Shogun Warriors. They're on the move. There's Raideen with Delta Wing missiles, Dragoon with a star shooter, and Mazinga with a rocket launcher. The Shogun. Imagine you command them to defend freedom, protect justice, and challenge Edo. The Shoguns. They're ready to strike when you are. Shogun Warriors, Mazinga, Dragoon, Raideen, equipped with their own gear, each sold separately from Mattel. Hey guys, today I thought I'd share something with you that I'm really proud of. This will be my first actual total paint job of any type of action figure. I've recently uh, touched up and painted a few parts on a Dragon Shogun Warrior, but not a total repaint. Uh, what I had in mind doing was the uh, Raiden to the Brave, the black version with the gold accents, but after I got uh, finished painting this one, I just decided to leave it just like this. I'm just really happy with the uh, with the with the outcome, the way it looks. Got to throw out a big shout out to one of my Facebook friends as well for sending me this. Uh, man, I always had in the in the back of my mind wanting to try something like this, and uh, you know, when you try something new, you're always afraid to mess up. So, uh, guys, give it a shot. Uh, messing up, you can just always start back over. But I always hated the thought of actually trying to not so much as mess up, but repaint a vintage uh, figure, you know. I don't know, it's just the way I think about it, but a Facebook friend of mine had one that was in pieces. Actually, let's take a look at uh, the way I got it. I know it's, uh, it's not showing the, the head real good, but the top pieces were totally gone, and the fist on the right hand side with the shield and the weapon the shield was there but the weapon was gone so I fashioned a couple of those pieces just out of some spare vinyl uh, that I had over had left over actually it's the same pieces of vinyl that uh, that I fashioned the wings from my Guy King out of and uh, like I said this is the end result man oh man just check this out. I use Plasti Dip. Uh, everybody should, I'm sure by now is familiar with that product. And I got to give another shout out to another one of my Facebook friends for for sending me a new uh, waste decal. I took the other one off the best that I could, but it was so wrinkled and actually tried to pull apart in one place. It wouldn't have looked very good trying to go back on. I found the uh, the axe cutter fist here. It took me, I knew I had one. It took me a while to find it here at home, but it was broke as well. Here you can take a look at the way it looked before. And actually the arm piece that connects the piece that I had to use to connect the uh, the arm to the uh, to the axe cutter fist is uh, was another idea from another the Facebook friend that gave me the uh, waist decal. Uh, it's just vacuum cleaner hose. Uh, it's brilliant, you know, it just fits right on. I originally thought that I could go to Lowe's and get some of the white PVC plumbing connections to fit, but it was just a little bit, the diameter is just a little bit bigger. And I don't think it would have looked as good as this did right here to begin with. But boy, I tell you what, guys, I'm happy. I originally thought, like I said, about adding some gold accents. I think I'm just going to leave it just like this. And to top everything else off, I found this one time at a flea market for like 25 cents. I'm sure it's a reproduction. You, you never find these anywhere, by the way. These are always the first things that gets lost. And uh, it really does look good on there as well. And here are my, my other versions of my Raiden. There, there they all are together. Boy, it's... Uh, it's really, uh, it's really good to uh, actually do these, uh, this kind of thing on your own. You, you get a really good feeling, especially when it ends up being more or less exactly the way you wanted it. But it's not child friendly anymore. These pieces are really, really, really sharp. I mean, uh, 
there are some scars I still got on my fingers from from uh, from adding these uh, those vinyl pieces to the figure itself. So guys, that's it. I blabbed on long enough. Once again, I'd like to thank my Facebook friends for helping me. Uh, more or less just able to do this project. Once again, guys, I'd like to thank everybody for watching. If you've got any comments or questions, just post them. I answer the best that I can. And that's all I have today for my collection.